Alright, hey guys, uh, this is going to be a quick video on Ohm's Law, um, how to use it, how to apply it in real life. Uh, I'm not going to really get into the details, just want to cover this because in future videos I'm going to be referencing it. And by the way, this is part of a new series of videos just going over uh, the basics with different fundamentals in electronics design. Alright, so basically Ohm's Law is very simple. It's just an equation. V is equal to I times R, where V is equal to voltage, I is equal to current, and R is equal to resistance. This is one way to represent it. An easier way, though, is to write it like this, V over I R, like that. So it's an equation that has three variables in it. So you, in order to find any of those var variables, or you're to solve for any of those, you need to have two of them already. So let's say you had V and you had I and you needed to find out what R is equal to. This is a little trick, not really a trick, but it just makes things easy. So you needed to find R, so you hold your hand over the R and R is equal to V divided by I. If you need to find I, you put your hand over I and you go V divided by R. If you need to find voltage, put your hand over the V, and that's equal to I times R. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And you can find out any of these things um, just by putting your hand over it. And just remember V over I R. Uh, now we could talk a little bit about um, power. So power is equal to V times I. And you'll see some tricks people use where they say power is equal to I squared R or V squared over R. I'll just show you quickly how you get to that. So we know from Ohm's law that V is equal to I R, right? So if you substitute um, V or I R for V here, so I R times I gives you I squared R is equal to Power. Hopefully the camera goes down that low. P is equal to I squared R. Now, the other one, of course, is that I here is also equal from Ohm's law is equal to um, V over R. So if you substitute that in for I, you get V squared over R, right? V times V, so V squared over R is equal to P. So it just saves you an extra step if you ever wanted to do that. All right, that's Ohm's law. Over here now, I have an actual um, circuit made up just, just to demonstrate Ohm's law where we have a, uh, a resistor here, a 1K ohm resistor. I put an ammeter in series with that. And then right here is a five volt supply going to that. And then off to the side here, I have a voltmeter going there. So from this circuit, we know that we have five volts going into it into, across the 1K ohm resistor. And we know that it is a 1K resistor. So five volts divided by 1K ohm here because Ohm's law if we just write it here, I, R, we need to find current. If we put our finger over the I, the current should equal V divided by R. So five volts divided by the one K should give us five milliamps. So right up here, we do see we have 5.26 milliamps. We're putting 5.16 volts across it. So it's not gonna be perfect just because there is some tolerances in the resistor and my voltage supply is not perfect either, okay? In fact, if I had another meter and I measured the actual resistance, I should be able, should be able to actually um, pretty accurately calculate what my current would be, you know, and it should be 5.26 milliamps dead on using the 5.16 volts. So anyways, that's just the quickie little rundown on Ohm's law. And I'm going to continue to make these simple videos that just go over theoretical basics as we go on. Uh, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.